here i am going to explain about the electromagnetic induction type single phase energy meter construction and working torque equation as well as error adjustments of the same type of energy meter also a block diagram of the digital energy meter or we can say electronic single phase energy meter and i'll complete my session with a three phase energy meter first of all we will see that what is meant by energy meter energy meter is a device it is going to measure the power and with respect to the time so that is it will give you a total amount of consumption for the particular period for example it may be for a month or it may be for a year or it may be for a day in particular day how many units it has consumed we have consumed or in a particular week or in a particular month how much units we have consumed it is every everywhere available in the home nowadays we are having both analog as well as digital meters so here we are seeing the construction of the electro magnetic induction type single phase energy meter here as we are seeing there are three types of magnets are provided so what are all those magnets we will see here the construction part so the first and very important part is the driving mechanisms how the particular disc is going to rotate so it is based upon the this driving mechanism magnets it is having a two electro magnets one is a series connected magnet and another one is the sun connected magnet here you can see that the series connected magnet is nothing but a current coil and the sun connected magnet is nothing but a pressure coil so this is the red line and this one is the blue line that is nothing but current coil and the red line is nothing but a pressure coil it is made up of silicon steel laminations which from a rigid mechanism structure on series magnet u type u shaped current coil is mounted and for a sent m type electromagnet is mounted it is the magnetic uh, here pressure coil is highly inductive in nature copper sent bands are provided on sun magnet so that phase displacement of 90 degree between flux set up in by sun and the series magnet we can provide a copper sharing band the main of which is what we have to create the phase difference current coil is connected in series with the load and again a moving system here moving system again shown in the green and it's nothing but the, how the disc is going to rotate so here the rotating aluminum disc is mounted in the spindle bottom of spindle is pivoted in the bearing screw see here pivoted screw top of the spindle is connected to the recording mechanisms which will give the gear trains so we can easily see the analog meters the reaction between the flux produced by eddy currents due to sun and the series magnet the sun and the series magnets reactions will make the disc to rotate to overcome the friction loss light load adjustment is provided on the spindle we have provided here this one light load arrangements for reducing the friction losses so next we will discuss about the braking system here braking system is provided by the c type magnet c shaped magnet here braking magnet is so placed that the disc revolves in the air gap so this is nothing but the air gap between the c type magnet Mm, this magnet field induces eddy current in the disc which reacts with the main magnetic field and creates braking effect by changing the position see here by keeping the magnet inside or keeping the magnet outside we can control the braking effect the braking disc can be adjusted registering mechanism is nothing but uh, it will provide the how much units it's have it's uh, consumed in a particular year or a particular month here see that uh, the different dials are provided the second dial is from the right from the 10 kilowatt hour the third is the 100 kilowatt hour this is the 100 kilowatt hour and the fourth is the 1000 kilowatt hour consumption sometimes 1 by 100 and 1 by 10 kilowatt hour also we are providing for the 
accurate result. The train gears driven by pinions or one gear. So next we will discuss about the operations. So here how the flux in the sent and series magnet going to provide a products a product of this effect and you will discuss going to rotate together because everyone knows the power formula is V A cos phi. So here we can see that the flux produced by pressure coil phi SH is the flux in the pressure coil and uh, phi SE is nothing but the flux in the current coil this one. Okay. And the flux phi S induces EM of ESH in the aluminum disc. The same disc due to this flux there will be a uh, EM of induced here and same way due to the flux in the series there is a induced EM of in the disc. So the disc is short circuited so there will be a two eddy currents because of the center and the series flux. So one flux here see that flux direction in between the series coil the one flux is going upward and the second flux is going in the downwards in the series magnet. The interaction between phi SH and IES produces the torque T1 and the interaction between the phi SE and IESH produces the torque T2. So this way the resultant torque will give the rotation in the disc. So these are the further ex detailed explanation of the energy meter operation. Finally, the net developed torque can be getting from this formula K3 into V i cos phi. It is the AC power formula. The braking torque developed on the disc is proportional to its speed. So if the speed is increasing, the torque, the braking effect also will get increases. Tb equal to K4 into N and N is nothing but the speed of the disc. The meter constant K can be calculated as K equal to total number of revolutions upon energy in the kilowatt hour. There are different errors in the energy meter. One is the speed error. Sometimes your energy meter, analog, especially in analog energy meter, people are complaining your mag, uh, disc is rotating more faster, so the bill may be higher, or sometimes disc won't rotate accurately, so that bill may go lesser. So these are the main cause because of the brake magnets. This can be reduced by arranging the or adjusting the brake magnets. Then we have some of the other errors, meter phase errors are there, then uh, friction errors. So amount of weight how much we are going to add in this based upon that we can have then creep a creep is the another type of error and due to the variation in the temperature that time also we have the error so these are all the and there's some more light load and friction adjustments these are all some other types of uh, errors so creep can be avoided by providing the hole and the uh, disc. So these are the main uh, constructions and uh, working and errors in the energy meter. And this is the type of uh, energy meter as for used in the three phase. So here we have a three arrangements of a single phase energy meter will make a three phase energy meter and this the circuit shows the 